guys, so here at Morris Lubricants in Shrewsbury, and now we're going to be looking at the blending process. A lot so, going on, mate. So the blending, yeah, it's, it's busy today. You can hear the noise in the background, which well, what, is always a good thing. What are we making here? Okay, so this is a batch blender. Yeah. Okay, so I'll explain what we've got here. So uh, how we make the lubricants are in batch blenders. This is a tank which sits on weight sensors. Yeah, yeah. How so, big a tank is it? So this will do um, about 20,000 litres, okay? So 20,000 litres? Yeah. So it's a decent sized batch. Um, we'll turn this around about three times in a day. Okay, okay, yeah. So this will be putting out about 60,000 litres of finished product in a day. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with the weight sensors on the feet, we can weigh in very accurately all the different raw materials needed to make the formulation. Um, we've got uh, big paddle stirrers inside, which you can hear in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. whirring away, mixing all the components together. Then we have heating coils inside, which then warm the materials up so it's easier to mix What's them. What sort of temperature? About 50, 55 oh, degrees right, centigrade. Not mega high then. Not, not mega, mega high. Okay, okay. Just enough. Obviously, we don't use too much energy in this process. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah we've yeah. optimised the temperature. So all the mixing's mixing. done at 50 degrees. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, 20 or 1,000 litres. Okay. Exactly, yeah. For how long? So this will be mixed for perhaps half an hour. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 40 minutes possibly, depending on, depending on what type of material we're making. Yeah. Um, You're saying that this is what, an engine oil? This will be an engine oil that we're putting okay, together okay, in this okay. at the moment. How many so. different ingredients? So an engine oil will have anywhere between five or six, possibly seven different ingredients, okay. Uh, okay. which is quite a simple formulation compared to, say, metal working fluids, where you could be talking 20 different components. Right, okay. And they yep, could yep. take days to manufacture, okay. not just hours, it could be literally days. Um, but in this process, you can see all these dedicated pipes going into the blending tank. And on here, we have computer control valves. Yeah. So the blending operative, it will basically put in the formulation we're going to use into the computer system. Yes. Um, entering the batch size that we're going to make. And then the computer, using the weight sensors and the computer control valves, will start to build the, the product from scratch. It'll put all the components in, get them warm, mix them all up, and then we'll take a sample. So the sample then goes to the QC. And you'll lab. take a sample while it's still in here? While it's still in here, so once all yeah. the mixing's done and it's, and it's finished, we will then sample it while it's still in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll go to the QC lab and check. We keep it in here in case there's any adjustments need to be made. Okay. Okay, so okay. there can be adjustments need to be made. There's, there's natural variations in some of the materials, so we have to counter for that. So we can make an amendment or an adjustment if we need to while it's in the tank. Before it goes into any barrels. But this yeah. doesn't leave here till it's been fully approved by quality control. So you can see that's one of the base oils going into there at the moment, okay? So it's a nice clean fluid going in, uh, which suggests it's one of our, that's a group three base oil, which is a very highly refined base oil. Um, so that's a good basis for an engine all these days. But you can see that going into the tank, okay? Then the additives will be put in on top of that, and then all mixed together and then okay, sampled. Okay, okay. So um, from, a, from a flexibility point of view and, and a blending process point of view, we can blend anything from 200 litres up to 70,000 litres, depending on, uh, on the, the type of product and the kind of demand that we have for it. So some of the big heavy duty diesel engine oils, for example, uh, where there's a big demand, we'll be making big batches of those products. Same with passenger car engine oils as well. There's a big demand for those products, so we'll make very big batches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes yeah, us yeah. more efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So 70,000 litres. 70,000 That's the biggest litres. batch. Go on, give us an example batch. of that. What would you make 70,000 litres of? So that would be a passenger car engine oil. So one of the mainline passenger uh, car right, engine oils. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. So that would be that kind of product. Um, but just to kind of compare this process, which is a batch blending process with a big, big stirrer, we also use ultrasonic blending as well. So with ultrasonic blending, you actually use a, a sound waves to mix all the raw materials like together. That there. That's part of the unit. That's part of the control unit. Absolutely. Go on. So all the materials are literally bombarded with sound waves. Yeah. And that agitation mixes them all together. Now, the beauty of that is it's much quicker. So we can put a batch together, 20 tons in, in 10 minutes. Okay. As quick as that. As quick as that. And we don't have to put any heat on either. No the mixers agi- going. Yeah, no mixers going, no heat. No, so we yeah. can actually do that very, very quickly. Uh, so it's kind of more eco-friendly, if you like. Yep. So we're, yep. we're more efficient and we're using a lot less energy to do that. So ultrasonic mixing is also an alternative way of putting these, these products together. Fair play, there mate, fair play. So there you go. So <coughs> that is the blending process, guys. So 
The next process will be how we fill the products from the tank into the finished container.